just landed in the boot, Italy. And I was told before I got here that maybe Italy wasn't so well known for their beers as they were their food and their culture and the people and everything. So I got me a plate of spaghetti with garlic bread and meatballs and parmesan. So I'm going to try these beers and then I'm going to take a little bite of this food and I'm going to take another drink of this beer and see exactly if it does complement the food. So I'm going to push this to the side just for a minute. I'm going to start out with Peroni. I've never drank it personally, but it seems a lot of people like it. So let's see what this is all about. It's a very light beer. Very light beer. It's got a, it's a green bottle beer. I'm not the biggest fan of green bottle beers. It kind of smells a little skunky to me, but I can get past that if it's got a great flavor. So, let's see what she tastes like. It tastes good. It's it's a, it's on the lighter side of the flavors. It's it's a nice light tasting. Ooh, cut me off already. It's not a super carbonated beer or even moderately one. It's it's got enough where you know you can tell when you're. When you got it in your mouth, those bubbles are popping and pushing the beer around on there, so you can actually get a great, a great flavor of the beer. I'm gonna have to see. I, 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 I gotta try this. I gotta, I gotta try this. Let's, let's just have a little bite of this spaghetti and wash it down with some Peroni. Mmm. Mmm. Have a bite of garlic bread too, huh? Mm. It's got to be good. Mm. Yeah. That's not a heavy beer. It's light tasting. It's... It's good. But, I got these two other beers. These are made by the same brewery. These are, uh, Beer Amoretti. Lots of people. I... I watch beer reviewers from a lot of different countries. Uh, a lot of the British people that I watch love beer already. So I've got the uh, Doppelbach beer and the La Authentica, which I'm just going to guess that means authentic. Uh, recipe since 1859. So I'm going to do that one first. Another light one coming out of the bottle. It's a lager, 4.6% alcohol. Bira Moretti, the Italian passion for brewing, it says. It's another very light colored beer. Uh, not very heavily carbonated, but let's give this a go. Now that one has a completely different flavor than the Peroni. Let me take another bite of this spaghetti. Stab a meatball this time too. Uh, mm. Mm. Oh, delicious. Mm. Okay. 
Bira Moretti La Authentica. Oh. This one has more beer flavor. So between the Peroni and this, I would prefer this. If you were a light beer drinker, I think Peroni would be right up your alley. If you like more of the beer flavor, the uh, Bira Moretti La Tentica. And I know my Italian is probably horrible. That's probably butchered that all to pieces, but great tasting beer. And it does. Got to send a, send a shout out to Joanne up in New York. She told me that um, Italian beers probably wouldn't rank that high, but they're best with Italian food. That's why I'm having this spaghetti here with this review. So, thank you for the tip, Joanne. I'm going to move on to the Bira Moretti La Rosa. It's a Doppelbach beer, which is more towards what I normally go to. I like, I like the darker ones. And this one is darker coming out. It's got the nice, see the, the bubbles, you know, that cascading as the beer's filtering down through the bubbles. It's just something really nice to look at. And that looks amazing. Mm. I'm going to take another bite while I'm waiting for that head to die down a little bit. Oh. Mm. That's a spicy meatball. No, not really. I don't like spicy food. Mm. Delicious spaghetti, though. Mm. Mm. This looks beautiful. Kind of nice. It's an off-white head, little beige head, reddish tint to the beer. Not too aromatic, but that's okay because it's the taste that matters. Cheers. Yes. That, that is a very delicious flavor. If if you like light beer, you probably wouldn't like this. This has got a much, much stronger beer flavor. Um, but that's what I like because, you know, when you're younger and you're drinking beers, you're just drinking to get drunk. You're just slamming back any cheap thing you can get your hands on just to get drunk. You're not really drinking it for the flavor. You're drinking it for the alcohol. Now that I'm older and wiser, I don't I don't drink eight beers at a sitting. I don't. I buy beers for the flavor. This beer, the Bira Moretti La Rosa, has the kind of flavor that I like. It's strong flavor. You're not gonna guzzle it down. I mean, I suppose you could if you wanted to, but this flavor is just so strong that you just wanna sip it swallow it, enjoy it, and like Joanne says, take a bite of, of the food, enjoy it, have, have the whole experience. Um, if you were just going to drink and you wanted to slam eight of them, then the Peroni is the way to go. It's light. What is the alcohol on this one? Uh, it doesn't say on here. Oh, 5.1%. So it's 5.1%. It's light tasting. Uh, you can you can you can slam those. That's a session beer. You can have six of those, eight of those, ten of those, whatever. You can drink those. You're gonna get drunk. You can do it. This with a more beer flavor. You know you can still have a few of those, but this the the flavor is so strong that you're not really gonna just pound them down. You're gonna drink it. You're gonna sip on it. And you're gonna enjoy the flavor. And it's a great flavor. So. The Peroni for light beer, it's good. I'll give it a seven. This one, it's got nice beer flavor. It's also a seven, just because I tasted this one, which is, you know, this is the same brewery. But this here, this is a nine. It's a it's a clear nine.
it is delicious and it does go well with the food so the spaghetti was a wise choice to have and follow up with that mm. Mm. yeah mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right wash her down All right, so I'm going to sign off from Italy. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Joanne, for your tips. And hope you'll enjoy, uh, hope you'll join me next time because I'm still on my world tour. Not going to tell you where I'm going next, but please tune in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and um, go on this world tour with me because. Um, I'm learning something new every day. I know a lot of people probably haven't tried any of these worldwide beers, so I'm more than happy to try it for you. It's a grenade I'm willing to jump on. So, tune in next time. Till then.